Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me today for a special episode. This is going to be a celebration of my hitting of the 500 sub milestone here on YouTube. Um, very, very grateful to everybody who uh, has subbed to my channel or taken the time to uh, come by and watch a video or two uh, coming up on my two years here on the platform. So I wanted to give back a little bit uh, to the community and to all the great folks that I've come to know uh, through this YouTube uh, venture with a contest. And uh, I've only done one of these. I think I did a uh, 100 sub contest back in the early days of the channel. Um, they're a little bit of work, but I, I think I owe it to all of you. Uh, certainly appreciate it. I've made a lot of friends on the platform. Uh, I have family members who watch the channel and uh, friends from outside the hobby who, who watch the channel and uh, just really appreciate uh, all of the support. It's been a lot of fun uh, over the last 24 months or so. So uh, gonna do a video response contest. Uh, have some pretty cool prizes, I think, um, that will be included. Uh, at least two prizes, maybe three. And uh, with that being said, gonna turn the camera around and uh, get to the details of the VR and uh, show you an example so you kind of know what you're you're aiming at. So uh, let's flip it around and get to it. Thanks. All right, so let's take a look at how this video response contest is going to run. Got some uh, 500 home run hitters up in the background here to help us celebrate the milestone. And uh, we'll just get right down to the rules here. So this is gonna be a video response. As I mentioned, I will need you to do a video to qualify for this. Um, it could be your very first video. This could be uh, how you start your YouTube channel. That's fine. I actually did have that happen in one or two cases with my last uh, video response at 100 subs. Um, so I'm gonna need a VR and it's gonna be a two part video response as you can see here. Uh, first, I want you to talk about a way in which you have changed as a collector and show some cards to illustrate that. Uh, so one of the things that I think is great about the YouTube platform is we're all constantly getting exposed uh, to a lot of other ideas and collecting perspectives and things that we may not have been aware of, you know, while collecting in our own bubble. And hopefully we're using all of that information and collective experience uh, to get better at collecting and to improve at collecting. I, I really do think it's something that you can improve at. Um, I don't think there's any one way to collect, and I think the goal that you're aiming for is going to differ person to person, but whatever your goals are, uh, I do think that you can, you know, change over time uh, your approach and become better as a collector. So I'm wondering, and you know, for better or worse, I'd like to hear about a change that you've made um, during your time in the hobby. This could be, you know, something large, like I never cared about hockey before. I only collected baseball, but now I get into hockey cards a little bit. Or I only ever collected vintage, but now I'm into modern. You know, it could be something large like that or something smaller scale. You know, I used to collect player X. He got traded. I don't collect him anymore. Um, something like that. So I have two examples um, that I'll give for this first one just to kind of give you a feel of, you know, some potential ways you could go about this. Um, you know, 10 years ago, back in the early 2010s, I was a rabid team collector of the Boston Red Sox. I just wanted to get every Red Sox card I could possibly get my hands on, uh, common star players, vintage, modern, relics, autos, you name it. Um, you know, if I still collected like that these days, I'd probably hang on to these cards that uh, came out of a 2022 Topps pack, you know, just three commons for the Boston Red Sox. But over the years, um, I've changed as a collector. I've, I've gotten out of team collecting. I realized I just don't have the space for it. I don't have the time or patience for it. And ultimately I wanna use um, the hobby funds that I have and the space that I have um, to hold cards that are more significant to me than you know, common players that I don't really have a tie to or a memory of just because they play for the Red Sox. So nowadays I still collect the Red Sox, um, but I'm more selective and I'll collect you know, cards like these, players like Mookie Betts, here's his gold rookie card and gold rookie debut. Um, Xander Bogarts, but also, you know, Mike Trout and Juan Soto and um, other young players who are stars on other teams as well, uh, much less Red Sox-centric or Red Sox-focused than I used to be 10 years ago. So there's an example of a change. Uh, another example I would have is I didn't used to collect relic cards or really respect relic cards. Well, as recently as the last month or two, I've landed a couple really impressive relics like this Lou Gehrig here, and, and they've kind of changed my mind a little bit about relics. I'm not as much of a, uh, I'm not as negative or down on relics as I used to be, um, you know, only a couple of years ago. So there's an, another example of me just kind of changing or modifying my approach as a collector. So I'd love to hear 
uh, one or more examples of that, you know, from your own collecting perspective. And hopefully you'll show some cards to help illustrate that. And then the second part of this I think will be fun. I want you to name one extinct brand or set that you would like to see revived. Um, this could be across any sport or non-sports or, you know, take your pick. Um, but a set that is no longer produced for whatever reason that you would love to see make a comeback and, you know, as realistic or not as that may be. Uh, so I, I chose a card for this part as well. And my choice would be the 2013 Panini Prism hockey release. Uh, Panini produced only one hockey set in 2013, one Prism hockey set. And they lost their license to produce NHL cards the following year. I love these cards. I adore these cards. I've really collected, you know, this 2013 release quite a bit. Um, but I would love to see at some point in the future Panini Prism, you know, licensed hockey cards again. That would just be amazing. Um, so I could have gone with definitely quite a few other sets. Uh, you know, Upper Deck having a baseball release again would be great. Um, but I went with Panini Prism Hockey as the set that I would like to see revived. Um, so I need you to make a VR uh, that contains, you know, an answer to those two topics or discussion points. Um, I will ask that you're a subscriber to my channel. Um, so please subscribe if you haven't already in order to be eligible for the prize. And then when you post your VR, please do the following. One of the, the following three. Either tag me in the video. This is uh, probably the best option. Just put at Shoebox Legends in your video. This will send me, uh, I think, a notification uh, that it's been posted and I'll be able to catch it kind of right away. Um, if you can't do that or you don't know how or you don't feel like doing that, uh, please come back to this video and leave a comment just letting me know that you've created a video. Um, I don't need a link. I can find it. Uh, just a comment would be great. Uh, or lastly, just email me and tell me that you made a, a video and posted it. Uh, you can find my email address on the About tab uh, of the channel here. So just essentially let me know that you've created the video and posted it. And uh, you'll know that I caught your video because I'll comment on it as soon as I watch it. And I will keep a running list in the description of this video here that you are watching right now uh, that has all of the channels that have qualified for the giveaway. So, uh, you know, don't panic if I don't get back to you within, you know, five hours or something. But if you've posted a video and you haven't heard from me in a couple days, um, please reach out uh, and get a hold of me and I'll make sure to get uh, to, to, to watch your video and get you included. Uh, the prizes and other info. So I'm going to give away a $50 eBay gift card to the winning channel. And these will be just, uh, everybody's going to be put on a kind of a, a randomizer wheel. Uh, I'll spin the wheel and the first person who is selected will get a $50 eBay gift card. Uh, then I'll choose a second winner after that. And that winner will receive a sealed 2022 Top Stadium Club Baseball Blaster. Uh, so I got a Barnes & Noble gift card from my mother-in-law for Christmas. Um, was able to use that to buy two of these blasters. Uh, so I'm going to keep one for myself, either put it on my wax shelf or rip it here on the channel. And the second one will be sent off to the second place winner. Uh, the final wrinkle on this, if I uh, should somehow get 50 entries, which I know is a pretty high bar, uh, I will raffle off a second eBay gift card for $50. So if we get 50 total responses um, after I've raffled off the first gift card and the Stadium Club Blaster, the remaining names who are on the wheel who have not won yet, I will do a third spin and give away another $50 eBay gift card. Uh, the deadline to submit your video or have it posted to YouTube is midnight Eastern on Sunday, March 19th. So I'm giving you a full month here uh, to get these in. I know from my own experience, I often record content ahead or sometimes can't record content for weeks at a time. So I want to allow enough time for everybody who wants to to participate. So you have a little bit over a month here. Uh, need your video to be posted by Sunday, March 19th. Uh, I will take a day or two to watch any remaining videos at that point and then planning to do the giveaway, you know, probably sometime the following week. Uh, so that is it. Um, really just want to express my gratitude again to everybody uh, who has spent their valuable time, you know, either a lot or a little coming by the channel and enjoying some of my content over the last two years. Uh, I know there is so much content out there and everybody has limited time. So it really means a lot to me uh, that you would support me and subscribe to my channel. And I hope that the giveaway uh, is a reflection of uh, that appreciation. So thank you, everybody. Uh, look forward to catching your responses. 
And uh, we'll certainly be back in the very near future with some more sports card content. Till then, take care and keep enjoying the hobby.